Hey there, Luke Zeme here. Today I thought I might try something new. So I'm an affiliate of On One Software, and this allows me to pass on 15% discounts to you guys. On One make all sorts of cool plugins and add-ons for photographers. They're actually really cool. And what I was going to do today was introduce you to a great tutorial program On One has got going over on their website. All the episodes are free, so if you go to their website and head to learn and then come down to perfect inspiration. The particular tutorial I'm going to look at today is by Matt Kloskowski. On one has already got 48 episode tutorials here for you to look at. Number 44, shoot what you love with Matt Kloskowski. So basically every week they bring in a guest tutorialist and here are the contributors right here and it just says be inspired, learn creative processing techniques download free presets, sample images and other great resources to spark your creativity and excitement for your own photography anyway so if we just click on this one this is the tutorial for Matt it's down here and I thought it might be just nice to use one of my images, do the tutorial, and then show you my results. So this is the before and then the after. The before and after. So just under the tutorial, you can actually download the files right here. And then import them into Lightroom, which I've done already. And you could use Matt's file and work along with the Perfect FX4 and Lightroom tutorial but I've got my own images that I wanted to use which were taken just south of the Gold Coast in Australia so I got up at sunrise and I went down to the rock shelf on the ocean and then took bracketed images so I've ended up using the minus one as the shot and just followed the steps that Matt used in his tutorial first starting with the lens correction then moving on up into the standard basic panel and he taught me a great tip holding down alt and then moving the white and black and you can see how it brings on a black screen and you move it to the right and just when you start to see the whites come in that's when you stop and the same with the black I'll just bring it right across to show you how it works. That way you don't get blown out highlights and shadows and you get the most detail. So after all of that, you export to Photoshop and then using Perfect Effects 4 from On One. And following what Matt did, you can end up with this. And I mean, the main things I learned here was the power of just using one raw image of Lightroom combined with Perfect Effects 4. But yeah, Matt taught me quite a few little things that I was unaware of, especially in Lightroom and then the way you can use the Perfect Brush in Perfect Effects 4. So I think I'm going to keep doing these little tutorials, maybe do the one each week, come up with one of my images and then just post them in my blogs somewhere here. So I guess I'll see you next time. So that, I'm the exam. See ya.